Welcome to highlights of stage one of the 2019 Deutschland Tour on GCN Racing. 167 kilometers from Hanover to Halberstadt, a day perfectly suited to the skills of the home riders. Two intermediate sprints at Sessen and Ostervik, one kick in the mountains at Sternplatz, and a bonus sprint at Hui Neinstedt with 151 and a half kilometers covered. A slight uphill kick to the line shouldn't pose too many problems for the sprinters. A high quality field of 131 riders took to the start. It wasn't long before the break of the day was established. It included Nicodemus Holler of Bike Aid, Igor Bob of Gazprom, Lotto Kernhaus, Joshua Huppertz, and Trek Segafredo's Julian Bernard. Bora Hansgo were controlling affairs on the front of the peloton for Pascal Ackerman. At the second intermediate sprint at Ostervik, Joshua Huppertz took maximum points for the second time in the day, having taken the first sprint in Sesson. The gap though, 1 minute and 15 seconds, it was looking highly likely it was going to be a bunch sprint with Frieson now contributing to the pace for Kayla Buen's Lotto Sudal team. With the kilometres starting to take their toll, Bike Aid's hollow was jettisoned from the break, as behind Katusha Alpacine and Jumbo Visma had joined the chase. As the breakaway hit the cobblestones for the special sprinter who he nine it was Bernard who jumped away in an attempt to take the three bonus seconds. He'd also taken maximum points in the mountains jersey earlier in the day. Behind Tom Yelty Schlagter was on the attack for Dimension Day 2 had Mark Cavendish in the team for the sprint. Bernard went over the top, pressing on alone. Yelty Schlagter, perhaps a good bet for the general classification, crested the summit behind him. As they hit the descent, the peloton though were now in full flight and Bernard's time at the front would come to an end just a few kilometres later. He was caught with 12.5 kilometres to go. The peloton took a moment to have some refreshments. Heading towards Halberstadt, a fresh flurry of attacks were looking to scupper the chances of the sprinters with UAE, CCC, Trek and Sunweb all getting involved. All attacks though were short-lived and they were all back together with just six kilometers to go. Heading in towards the finish and Bora Hansgrohe were just laying off the front waiting to make their run for the line. Team Sunweb were also looking organized and noticeable in their red jerseys for Case Bowl. Under the Flam Rouge and Bora made their move, the likes of McClay, Bol, Christoph and Stuyven all towards the front, Geraint Thomas also bringing through British champion Ben Swift. Taking a victory in your home tour is always something riders aspire to and Ackerman came off the wheel of Consoni with UAE's Christoph right on his wheel. Today though belonged to the German and he powered clear for his ninth victory of the season. Christoph and Consoni were not far behind in second and third. A suitably delighted Pascal Ackerman takes the victory. Confirmation of your top 10. Pascal Ackerman takes it from Alexander Christoph with Consoni, Bol, Steuven, Askreen, Van Rensburg, Dents, Pollitz, and Combrelli. Your top 10. The general classification looks like this after stage one. Pascal Ackerman now leads Alexander Kristoff by four seconds with Consoni at six. The race continues tomorrow with the 202 km second stage from Marburg to Göttingen. Two classified climbs towards the King of the Mountains, two intermediate sprints and the bonus climb at the top of Göttingen with just nine kilometers to go. These bonifications definitely open up the race in 2018. Will they do the same again? Don't forget to subscribe to GCN Racing, hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time there's a new video uploaded.